what is the relationship between this dwelling within the not knowing and, and an atheist theory of religion? Is there a connection between the two? Nicolas Lacan, who didn't hesitate to identify himself emphatically as an atheist, nevertheless, I think, looked at Freud's treatment of religion in any of his three big critiques, either this, the notion of religion is kind of related to the relation of the, the superego, uh, the father figure, the father god, and so on, or the question of obsessional neurosis and its parallel to religious ritual and so on, or at last, the much more accessible critique in the future of illusion, where basically religion becomes a wish fulfillment, a kind of, of the most sort of banal sort, projected out into an infinite space. These three critiques, I think Lacan Lacan accepts, of course, uh, in the main, but also feels unsatisfied with it, it seems to me. that He feels that Freud is too knee-jerk in his judgment of the emptiness of religion. And of course, that religion is a kind of, as many other Enlightenment thinkers adopted, the view of, of the better, the quicker we, we graduate, the quicker we kind of grow up from the childish, wish-fulfilling dream of religious faith, the better. And it seems to me Lacan, in a very measured and subtle way, I think wants to say, without endorsing theism of any sort, he wants to say, well, we have to take the religious very seriously as located at the heart of the human being.